Tootsie Davis Family Education and Support Group was established in 2018 with one goal in mind to help families struggling with addiction. Substance uses don't only affect negatively on the person himself, but the person suffering from the addiction and the whole family. As you know, there are many different types of family dynamics and Susan Reeks, Chief Development Officer from the CATA, joins me now with more on the issue and a solution. Susan, what is the most important thing that people can do if they have one, uh, a loved one that is suffering from substance abuse? The most important thing they can do is to learn everything they can about addiction. Tell me more. Well, support groups are wonderful and that's the great thing about the Tootsie Davis program that it, it is part support group, but it's important that they get evidence-based information as well. Okay, um, how have studies been able to show that being around other individuals and asking other individuals around you, support groups, affect them? Well, for one thing, let's take the Tootsie Davis format, for example. Okay. We start with a 10-minute educational segment, and it'll be on a different topic having to do with addiction, such as setting boundaries, um, learning about the neuroscience behind addiction, and then after the educational material, the discussion opens and then the family members that are present can ask questions or they can just share, tell something bad that happened that week, mm -hmm. uh, just get the support from people there. But with a real clinical person that knows evidence-based information and won't give them the wrong information. And Susan, is this just for the individual themselves or is this for the entire family? Well, it's for the family members of someone who is struggling with addiction because most of the people that come to the Tootsie Davis meetings, their loved one isn't getting help. They're not ready to get help and the loved one is unwittingly playing what we call this dance with them, not knowing that sometimes they can actually make the situation worse, but definitely by getting educated and getting some tools that they can use when they're in discussions with this family member, they can learn how to, to where it doesn't rule the household as much. And Susan, you jumped right into my next question with saying what type of resources and tools will the families be given? What types of topics will they be covering for these individuals that just ultimately want to help their loved one? Well, the first thing they learn is that there is nothing they can do to make their loved one get help. They're not changing their behavior. Is, it's not really the focus to help their loved one get into addiction treatment. They are changing their behavior, the family member, so they can get peace and so they can start enjoying life again. And it is sometimes a happy accident that when the family member starts to get their own life back by setting boundaries and learning about the different family roles we take on, their loved one sees the, the change yeah. and might be moved to get help but that's not the focus. The focus of coming to these meetings is to take your own life back and try to find some peace. And Susan, it's gotta be incredibly hard with the different family dynamics of when an individual, when you have to watch somebody suffer and you want to change them, right? Like you try to do everything, coach them through, be supportive, and if they're not willing to change, what can you do on your end? Right. Um, you know, it's like we all went through this, you know, we just think if, I, if I'm only good enough, if I only take care of this, if I cover for him, he's going to get the help when he needs it, but that's, that's just not true. And so we teach family members how to not get bogged down into reliving the arguments and, and what comes out of that and different things like DBT, which is a dialectical behavior therapy that family members can try to to just step back and get outside of that. And there's, there are videos and resources like that on the Tootsie Davis page on the CATA website. I absolutely love what you guys are doing for our community. Real quick, Susan, when can people uh, get this education? Is it via Zoom? It is, we are doing our meetings on Zoom right now every Wednesday at noon and also the second Monday evening of every month at 545, also on Zoom. Thank you so much, Susan, for being here.